Hey guys, real quick, I'm going to show you how to burn Dreamcast games with standard blank 700 megabyte discs. You can buy it. You can buy them at like Rite Aid, Walmart. I got 100 for 20 bucks, so they're not expensive. I don't endorse piracy whatsoever. However, you know, the developers don't make money off these games anymore, and some are very hard to get. Uh, and you can play you can play Japanese games just by burning the disc. You don't need a soft mod or hard mod or your Dreamcast or anything like that. So it's a pretty simple guide. All you need to do is download this. I'll leave the link in the in the description. You just go to the mirror. Wait for this. Just wait for the ten seconds. Okay, so now it's all done. It's, uh, it's a 7-zip file. All you need to do is download 7-zip if you don't have an extracting program. It works fine. It's free. It doesn't have any toolbars or anything like that. But yeah, after you download it, you're going to have two files. CDI files and set up image burn. You drag these to your desktop. So now you have this and this and first you want to go to setup image burn you just click on it twice hit next next don't need to do anything with this next just wait for this to be finished Then if you want, you can open up the file location to go to your program files, x86 slash image burn, which is a directory. It's just the main directory on your local disk. And uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the CDI files we extracted. And uh, you want to copy these three files to this folder. I already did this, but uh, otherwise I wouldn't be there. I'll just do it again. So then the next thing you, you want to do is find a Dreamcast ISO. I use MU Paradise. It has pretty fast downloads. Oh, and you want the CDI every single time. GDI is for, I don't know, emulators and stuff, but uh, CDI is what you use to burn. So, I mean, it's going pretty fast. But, uh,. I have it downloaded already. So after you have your file, just put it on your desktop, open up Image Burn, go to Write Image File to Disk, go up to File, Browse for a Source File, select your image. Um, you don't need to do anything with this. Write Speed 16 is fine. You can do 12 if you want, but anything past 16 I wouldn't do. And I, I would not use rewritable disks. I have heard they do not work. So right now I'm just going to grab a blank disk. Put it in.
and then after the disc is in, all you have to do is hit this button. And you don't need to do anything with this. It might take a minute to buffer, but after that's done, It will slowly burn. And I say slowly, but it's it's honestly pretty fast. Like right now, it's already at ten percent. So I mean, if you want to get a Dreamcast game, and you have a good internet connection, like three megabyte a second download. Then, uh, I mean, really, uh, all you need is 10 minutes and some blank discs. While this is completing, I'm going to get my Dreamcast ready and uh, show you guys how it works. And as you guys can see, sometimes the buffer will go down, but that's pretty normal, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't mean it's not going to work. It usually does it towards the end of the burn. Or I guess it's just doing whatever it needs to do.
<sighs> it's still synchronized in the cache, so uh, don't quit out of it. But now it's done, so I'm gonna quit out of image burn. Take the CD out of my uh, disk drive. Now we just wait. And as you guys can see, it does indeed work. So have fun, be safe. See you guys later.